Let's play some Binding of Isaac. Whew. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm actually kind of feeling a bit down right now, so I thought I'd go ahead and play some Binding of Isaac and kind of forget things for a little while. Welcome to the I Am Error room, uh, which is a reference to Zelda 2. I got Cupid's Arrow, which gives me piercing shots, so they'll go through enemies and keep on going. And for some reason, I got a ton of pills. Telepills. Actually, I'm going to abuse this, if I can. Since I know what telepill is... Awesome, I know what that is now. What is this? Please don't be something bad. Range down. You suck. Pretty fly. Pretty fly for a white guy. Oh, awesome, that's health up. Full health. I thought that would be health up for sure. Oh, whatever. Oh, tears down. You suck. Range down. Do not want. Well, now if I use a teleport telepill here again, I will end up probably back in the normal level. Um, this is the only way to get to this place is teleportation. And it's pretty rare, but it happens, obviously. Uh, if I jump down that pit, I'll just go to the next level. But since I don't want to skip my opportunity to get items, uh, I'm going to use a teleport pill and go back to the normal level. Because I want stuff. Kind of sucks that my range and uh, tears went down. And I have Mr. Boom. Eh. It's kind of a so so. Hmm. hmm, actually, maybe I should bomb right down here. With a normal bomb. Oh, only three pennies. Yeah, I know, I could have probably bombed my way into that other room, but I don't have enough money to bother with it anyway. So let's see if Mr. Boom can help us in the fight against this guy. No, no he cannot. Might as well just use him as a normal bomb. You'll see the shots are going through him. Oh, I got when I should have stayed up. His charge attack there takes the whole heart off. for better defense, and we go move on. Oh, I didn't want to do that. You started, it started me right here next to that door, so it automatically took my key. That ticks me off. I hate when the game does that. That means I don't have a key.
Mm, bigger baby is tempting, but I don't know. Okay, I have a key. Oh man. God. Okay. This guy's hopping everywhere. Come on, I don't want to get hit. I want to have a chance to get through here. Isaac's fork, yay. Let's go. Larry Jr., hopefully Mr. Boom will help this time, huh? Awesome. Ooh, this may actually be pretty good if I can pull this off right and it goes through all his bits. Yeah, it does. That's awesome. I'm going to do a lot more damage to him. Very awesome. Hmm. I think I'll just stick with Isaac Spork for now. What is this? Help up. Thank you very much. The Lovers. Lovers is another Arcana card, Major Arcana Tarot card, and it gives you two hearts. Uh, I can't even get the paw, not that I'd want to, and I don't really want to bother with the cat's head. So, I'm going to skip all that. Go over here. Save my hearts for another devil room if I can. The piercing shots are kind of nice when you're in a situation where you can line it up with a bunch of enemies and it just pierces you. Oh, that's so much fail. This is... I think I probably got it in another run. If not, it's the kamikaze. You wear a bomb. I don't want it. Kinda sucks. Because you need, every time you use it, it deals a whole heart of damage to you. Which is bad. <laughs> yeah, the piercing shots are really good in situations where you're, um... Oh, hey, I have seven pennies. I can go get that blue candle. Let's do that. Last time I got the blue candle, I wasn't very successful. But it's on sale this time, and I have exactly enough, so... And it's way better than Mr. Bomb, so we're gonna do that. Sorry, Vader baby, I have no money to give you. No monies. I hope something good is in here, because otherwise I'm gonna be kind of annoyed. Well, two chances for something good. Okay. Uh, blue candle. Whatever, that was weird. You don't see, usually see that. And hello again, Baker Baby. Oh, uh, that means I'm going to have to take some heart damage of guard. Well, I've already opened up the one thing, so. But I really wanted to keep that soul heart. I want those in the shop. Okay, it burns forever. Oh well. I can heal up a bit on the way out. Isaac Fork is a nice item, especially early in the game. Because it just heals you every time you hit, uh, clear so many rooms, I think, or kill so many enemies. Uh, it's nice. It's basically a healing trinket. There aren't many of those. Taking a poo, taking a poo, and everyone is laughing at you. Taking a poo. Bomb. Want. That was a quick move on my part. Yeah, that's what I love about the blue candle. It can absolutely destroy certain enemies that are normally kind of aggravating, like those butt lickers. Yeah, 
And I walk to a useless room. Useless room. Useless room. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Straight out of my way. I'll get it for the uh, extra bombs and switch back to my item. Let's see what's in here. Come on. No. You suck. I prefer to destroy those if I have the opportunity to. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, that's nice. Ah, I'm gonna pass though because I've got the blue candle and very little tops the blue candle. And that was Isaac's fork healing me. Oh, it destroys shots too. Money, keys, money. Money. Yeah, I could go to the store, but I don't really think I want to bother with it. Ooh. <coughs> Weak, you dodge. Eat fire. <coughs> So this is Isaac. He is sad because he is a corpse. <sighs> Starting over, and we got the curse of a lot. Of them. <sighs> well, at least I got a key. Maybe if I'm really, really lucky, I can. Well, I don't know actually if the double room will appear when you have this situation. Because I know he doesn't appear in the... ever... I've never had him appear in the first level. But, uh... Well, never mind. I got hurt, so now he won't appear definitely. Treasure box? These kinds of rooms where you really don't have much room to navigate and hmm, uh, well, oh why not? I'll get my bomb back anyway. Maybe there's something in the in the poo that will be worth it. Even if it's only a penny, uh, at least it's something. Oh, good, it's a heart. I need a little bit of healing. Sometimes you just fail at dodging shots. Spider-Man. 
spike room. I have used the spike room from time to time, but most people I've seen pretty much ignore the room or avoid it. I need two of them. Because mom uh, your shots follow your momentum, you can sometimes do that kind of situation. Give me something good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Well, here's the boss or bosses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why not? Oh, it's a variant. Yeah. One of the boss variants. Come on, yeah. die, die. I don't know what he's gonna spew yeah. out that's different, but I'm not looking forward to it. The double fly. So they're twice the annoyance. What? getting frustrating. Can't hardly get a shot on him. Finally. No. And I got the belt, which is mm, something I didn't really want to bother with, but whatever. Maybe I'll have better luck dodging shots now. Unfortunately, it's really difficult to discern where um, secret rooms are when you play a labyrinth level like this, where it combines two levels worth of rooms. Feed us in the jar. Well, since, I don't know, I'm feeling crazy. Let's take it, because this is what it does. Dr. Fetus. It does have its advantages, but it also has some serious disadvantages too. Most of the time, you don't have any precision when attacking. Mm -hmm. 
just kind of have to hope you can maneuver things like that. And I got a slot machine. Why not? Give me something decent. Come on. Got a soul heart. Kind of nice. I'll just get with that. I mean, on the one hand, you're incredibly destructive, although you can only fire one bomb at a time. You have to wait till the first bomb explodes before you can fire another. Oh, why not? I have no idea what this is going to do. So... Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's doing. It seems like I'm having to wait longer when I fire my shots. Great, so basically I don't think I got any improvement out of it, and it decreased my shot rate dramatically. God. <laughs> See, I can't, I'm hitting the button and I'm, it's not getting me anything. <laughs> Let's move on. At least taking down the boss should be relatively easy. But little enemies that dart about like that in various ways, they're, they're going to be really annoying to deal with. So we'll fight the second boss. You're not immune to the bombs either. You will hurt yourself if you are in range. If I can get brimstone, I may still be able to recover this run. Otherwise, I'm eventually going to blow myself up. No toilet paper. Moving on. Why not? And again, why not? This is getting really irritating because I'm clicking the button and I don't get anything, you know? not be able to kill these guys because the amount of time between my shot and the damage I'm dealing isn't sufficient it looks like oh this is gonna be really awful if that's the case come on fire the Firing time is delayed so 
so much that I cannot fire in time to hit them when they're down and finish them off. I'll have to use the tower, hopefully. I got a key out of it. This is going to be really, really awful if this is going to be the case here. Because I'm not sure if I can do anything about these guys. Come on, fire! Screw this. I'm just going to have to use my abilities here to blow out the wall. Oh, God. It's trying to get away from the shots. There we go. I'm just going to have to blast out the doors when I have situations like this. And I couldn't get out of there without hitting, getting hit by the shot. Like I said, fail. Shouldn't have taken the bombs in the first place. But I thought at least I should show them off once. You know? But that was really lame. I mean, like, super lame. I'm gonna hold on to the clubs until I can... Killed them all. Welcome back, Mr. Boom. Since it's very hard to make use of Mr. Boom for anything other than normal explosives... Good, I saved a bomb, basically. Eh. Another variant. Ooh. Might be able to turn the green little green flies against him. Ah! Oh. I hate it when he spams so many flies. Come on! Come on! Come on! Sometimes knockback is really important.
got Jesus Juice, so that's nice. Increase in tear rate is always welcome. Well, since... Um, since... 1 times 2 is just 2, and in this case, you'll at least get a minimum of 2 regardless, even if you have no bombs. I'm going to go ahead and use a bomb, and have 0 bombs. Blow that up. So hard, and give myself two bombs, and hit the road. Then I like I'll get the devil room with some decent stuff in it. Well, that's nice of it. Essentially, Mr. Boom is a reusable bomb that recharges every one you beat. In that sense, I guess, he is kind of nice. Or perhaps it's more of a every other room. If I found I got no devil room this time, even though I didn't get damaged at all in terms of red hearts. Guess it just goes to show you sometimes it just really is random chance. Let's see what's in there. <laughs> Soul hearts are always, always welcome. Nothing up there because it would have appeared next as an extra door into the uh, other room. And there wasn't one, so I know there's no secret room next to the curse room. There's the spiky thing. I don't want to mess with that. I might even blow it up. In fact, I'm going to blow it up. I am going to use Mr. Bone. There. Oh. Awesome. Every chest is now, or all of this stuff is now openable to me. This is awesome. I love getting golden keys. They're just all sorts of awesome. What I need to do is kill the people, kill these guys that are closest to me. Fortunately, these guys essentially fire blind, which of course makes sense. And their real threat is when they're in large numbers and there are so many shots you're likely to get hit. I don't want that. Uh, compass would be nice, but I've got nowhere near enough money. Oh, the rosary. Faith up. It gives you three, basically it gives you three soul hearts. That's pretty decent. It's pretty solid, because, you know, more health means you last longer in this game.
I'm going to save my money, hopefully be able to use it in a later store. I could have probably searched for, whatchamacallit, but a, sh a secret room, but oh well. Ah, oh, I hate these guys so much. That was rewarding. I hate it when they're there because they're just awesome. And this is really good to get early in the game too. Um, X-ray vision glasses. I've seen everything. Uh, it basically allows you to see through into secret rooms and reveal their passages automatically. Like that. So as a result, you don't need to use bombs to get into secret rooms. They are automatically visible. This means both secret rooms. And sometimes there will be idiot monsters that get stuck on them too, I guess. There we go. Check out the secret room. As you can see, all four, all the exits, possible exits, I should say, are visible. Which means I can just go back and forth freely without having to worry about bombing anything. So. No, 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 no. Well, at least this run is finally going better than the last two. Ugh. Oh, this has potential. As said before, this will uh, grant you a better chance of accessing, uh, or grant you a better chance of pills being dropped as rewards for a room rather than um, any other item. Obviously, it goes without saying that you should kill those things as quick as you can. And I got one of them at least. Oh, that was luck. You just randomly turned around. Oh, randomly turned around at the last second. Let's go check out what's in the secret room. Give me something good for a change. That's decent. Decent enough. And that's all she wrote. I really like having lots of soul hearts because they... They really are nice in terms of getting... Uh, devil runes. Now I have one key and 16 pennies. I might as well try this. I think I'll skip the map. It really doesn't matter that much. The compass would have been more useful. I will, however, pick up a key to replace the one I just expended. What's in here? Did I go in here yet? I did. I got the, got the pill in there already. So, on we go. Dirty Junior! Oh, God. Yeah, he's like... Flies about the room. Destroying all his own summons. And generally being very difficult to dodge. Among my least favorite bosses, there were a few that top him, certainly. Oh. Then he's coming all these flies. Yeah, he's crushing them. Uh, and me. Would have taken me a lot more shots to have finished up all those flies. Getting him to, uh... Yeah, that's about as good as I could have hoped. For things to have gone.
I don't think I want to mess with the uh, severed hand. Double my bombs. Yeah. Double my bombs. I'll be good. Random pill. Might be a teleport pill. Let's see. Let's see what's in the room. It's Krampus! <laughs> Hello, Krampus. <coughs> yeah, I got lucky. <laughs> See what this pill does. Tears down, you suck. Sometimes you just don't have a lot of time to get out of the way. That time I got out of the way in time, barely. Oh. Sometimes Krampus is really frustrating. <laughs> there went all of my soul hearts. That's kind of rage inducing right there. Well, all except this one down here. Um, I guess I've been everywhere in Portland. So I guess I might as well move on. That really irks me. I have so many soul hearts. Now I've got nothing. Oh yeah, you ran into a bunch of spikes. Finally. Oh hey, that's kind of nice. I'll use a normal bomb. I won't take it yet, though. Let's see what's in the secret room. Well, hopefully I won't forget that. with Mr. Boom. It's a toss-up, really. The harsh thing about these sets of situations here is with these guys, It's often hard to deal with them because they, you know, they go to fish. You get near, and, uh... Come on. Oh, that's nice. I can open this. Goat hoof, I don't want it. Ooh, the Bible. Mm. Well, since all I've got right now is Mr. Boom, 
The Bible is definitely better than Mr. Boom, even though it's not that great in and of itself. I guess I'll hold on to it. I'll buy it now and try to see if I can hold on to it till we get to Mom. Should be noted that the uh, the Bible becomes completely worthless after you defeat Mom. I mean, Mom's heart. I mean, not Mom herself. Well, not completely useless even then, I suppose. Although the final few level, well, anyway, I'll, I'll get to that later. I'm sure it'll come up. Running through here in a box. I'm living in a box. I'm living in a cardboard box. I'm living in a box. I hate this so much. Couldn't keep any distance between me and I couldn't dodge very well because of the spikes. Easier fare. Now that I say that, I'm gonna get hit by a bunch of shots. Let's see about getting to this white pill. What is it? What is it? What is it? Balls of steel. That's nice. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to take a playing card. Playing card makes it, of course, more likely to get drops of cards, but if I get playing cards as a drop, that's really nice. Sometimes I just fail. Well, this is definitely going to be the last run for now. Or for this evening, probably, I mean. Simply by virtue of the fact that I haven't played so much already, even if I do get really far this run, I'm going to be kind of all played out and, you know, tired of it. Oh, I kind of got lucky. Let's see. I've got five. I don't want to bother with the right for the moment. Oh, are you kidding me? Go away. Go away. Just rot in a... Might actually try the boss room, boss challenge. Room. See what this gives me. It gives me strength. That's what it gives me. So I go in here and I use the blood machine because it only takes direct hearts to lower myself to one heart exactly. Use it to break into the, or get into the, uh, secret room, and then pump myself up with strength. Uh, I actually don't want the wooden spoon that much. Oh, whatever.
got a nickel out of it. That's okay. Well, I'll just have to go heal a bit. And I think I'm going to take advantage of... Well, well, I'll just hold on to the 15. The 15 is... Um, you know, the exact amount of money I need to... Um, Ooh, I cannot forget that. I, I, I better not forget that. That's gonna make me rage if I jump down the hole and then forget I had that there. Sword of Norden, you guys. I want to put out those fires first so that you don't have to. I don't have to deal with flaming jumpers. Tube chests, really? And a chest within a chest, too. Which is also kind of screwy. A fistula. Actually, the uh, flying ability will help me out a bit here. Simply because I can fly to exactly on top of one of the rocks, and they'll bounce away from the rock. Well, mostly. This is going to turn into a chain reaction very fast. Sometimes you have situations where the flies are all clustered together and you kill one of them and they just blow up everything in the area. Well, these stem cells are helpful. I get a little bit more health, and I have a fetus attached to my face. Foetai! Foetuses! Fetuses! Whatever. Now we're in the depths. We're in the depths. I'm down. Get off of me. Kind of sucks that I haven't been able to really get a much in the way of a devil room items. And why don't we just expend a little money here, bring myself down to 15. And have no benefit whatsoever. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Crap. No benefit whatsoever. Oh. More money. I will hold on to that. Oh, great. This is not a good position to be in when dealing with these types of enemies. the card. Meanwhile, Reed shows up and decides to ruin the party. Because he is a party crasher. He wants to steal all your stuff. He is an
He doesn't just kick the dog, he chokes it. I am failing at this so hard right now. Getting hit five ways from Sunday. I really kind of would have liked to have actually gotten a shot. To actually do something. It's especially kind of annoying when all I can do is spend it on uh, the random gambling machines and that doesn't do that much good and it must be terribly boring for people to watch. Do not want your heads. Get away. Yeah, I blew your head away. What are you going to do now? Blew your head off too. And I was rewarded with a bomb. If I can't get some keys out of this, or maybe a help up, or a random pill that took my range down. Thank you. You suck. What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? We got money. What are we gonna get? We got more money. I got more money that I really didn't want because I really wanted something else. Maybe I'll run into a baker, baby. This is annoying. <laughs> I don't like my odds right now. Wait. Oh, freaking. And I suddenly remember I forgot the freaking white heart. Oh, I am so... Flying around, you stupid flies! <sighs> Man, this round I've just not had the luck. A lot of bad luck, and I'm probably not going to make it much further round. Well, at least I can kill these little things and use a bomb to blow that up. Yay, gave me some health, which is what I was hoping for. And then there were brains. And getting shot in the head, and getting surrounded by brains. And, well, the end. Well, that's all for Abinding Isaac this time. A three-part fail fest. Fail fest. Uh, until next time, folks. Until next time.